What's going on guys, Lawson here. So if you've been keeping up with the channel pretty consistently, you will have seen that I am in the process of selling my boat. It was a huge redfish or 18 foot, a beautiful, beautiful boat. And I'm selling it because I wanted to get something a little more portable and something that's much more of like a polling skiff, a true, true flats boat. And so that boat's for sale. And if you've watched over the past month or two, we've been doing a lot of videos from the shore, whether it's at the beach or wade fishing, and even some paddleboard videos. Now, I know a lot of you guys were worried about what I was gonna do and what I was gonna get for a boat, but guess what? New vessel has arrived, actually arrived in the mail just a few days ago, and we're gonna show you what we're dealing with right here. Now, this isn't gonna be the permanent solution for, this isn't gonna be the permanent solution for the boat for the future, but something that is gonna be here while I make up my mind. And I know some of you guys are gonna have really mixed opinions on it. And some of you are probably gonna be really excited, but I'm super stoked about it. And we're gonna do a walkthrough of our new micro skiff. If this looks like a paddleboard to you, it's because it basically is. And if it looks like a micro skiff to you, because it is as well, it's kind of both. So this is called a boat rover and it's basically a glorified giant paddle board that you can put an engine on. This right here is a 14 foot paddle board that has a 40 inch beam and this sucker is a beast. I've already taken out a handful of times and I wanted to you know, get a feel of it and so I could give you guys an honest opinion before I told you about the new skiff. I don't even know what to call this thing. It's not a boat. It's really not that much of a paddle board. I'm just gonna call it a skiff. If you guys want, you can try to help me come up with a name for this bad boy here, but I am very excited about this. Now, like I said, just out of pure transparency with you guys, this isn't gonna be a permanent solution for the channel. This is something I'm gonna use over the next few months while I make up my mind of what I truly wanna get for the next boat that's gonna be running this channel. Because I put my boat up for sale and I started to look at different boats and getting quotes on them and just, they're all so expensive. It's not something that I want to take lightly in a decision and be like, I just need a boat, so I'll just get whatever. Like, it's a lot of money that I would need to put down and invest in. And so I just want to be responsible with what I'm doing. And so while I think about what boat I truly, truly want, this thing is going to be our solution for getting out on the water. We're going to run you through the specs, kind of give you a breakdown of what this weird looking vehicle is. So let's hop into it. Okay, like I said, it is a 14 foot paddle board and has a 40 inch beam and it can support up to 500 pounds. The thing is a tank and the boat itself or the skiff itself only weighs 105 pounds. And then on the back of it, there's a 9.9 .9 horsepower four stroke outboard on it. And this weighs about 90 pounds. And so with 200 pounds in the boat per se this thing goes around 15 miles per hour i was riding it out on the river the other day and it's like riding a freaking bull or something because you're literally sitting on a cooler right here you grab up on the grab bar and you're running the tiller and if it's choppy which it was when i went out the other day it is the most fun thing i've ever driven in my life it is nuts but it's super fun and was literally just like launching over boat wake and flying around. <laughs> it is insanely fun. Has a three gallon fuel tank right here in the back. I went out for about six and a half, seven hours and I don't even think I burned a quarter tank of gas. Not a quarter tank, a quarter gallon of gas. This thing is still freaking completely full. So a nice motor nice cooler here to sit on top of and this is gonna basically if you look in here right now it's just full of tackle and a bunch of different gear and so kind of using it as a dry storage tackle bin to sit inside or sit on top of and all the tackle sits inside it and then here you have a grab rack now the grab rack you use it to hold on to while you're driving especially when you're going fast and it also has pull holders on it but what's really cool about how this thing is designed I mean I call it a thing because I don't even know what this thing is these pull out here and they can mount <laughs> I just whack myself in the face <laughs> these pull out here and they mount into different places on the boat so you can move it a little bit forward if you want to if you need more space and what I've taken to doing when I've gone out on it so far is when I'm running the grab rack is mounted right here and I have my two fishing rods in the pole holder 
and I'm just running and having a good time. And then when I decide, okay, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna fish for a bit. Grab rack pulled out and I put it all the way in the back where there's mounts back here to put it in as well. And that's it here, rod holders are back here, tackle storage is here, and the GoPro is mounted right on the back to film all the action up front. And it's been a pretty cool setup so far and I can't wait to really get comfortable with it and break it down. Now, I know a lot of you are probably like, come on, man, you're really gonna go from an 18 foot bay boat basically to a 14 foot micro skiff that is like one tenth the size of the boat. It's gonna allow us to do things that nobody else is doing. We can access areas that only kayak and paddle boards can, but we can go as far as a boat could. And so this thing is gonna like, I feel like unlock some truly crazy things for us to do here in the future. Yeah, so really cool too. The engine can actually pop off back here. This right here is the engine rack, the motor rack, and there's rod holders on it as well. And the engine, you just unscrew the clamps and you can lift it off. It is kind of a pain in the butt to do, but it's not too bad. You can do it by yourself. It's a lot easier two people though. You know, the second day I had this thing, I went out by myself with the engine. And then the next day, Zeke came out in the boat with me and we were going to an area that you can really only access through paddle boards. So we pulled the engine off, pulled the gas tank off, and both of us got in this thing right here and we're pulling around chasing fish and we caught some really good fish. And it looks like this should be a solo skiff. Like you could only fish this by yourself, but you can get two people in it. You know, you're not gonna get as fast as you would by yourself, but you can get two people in this. And basically how Zeke and I were doing it the other day was we basically switched off fishing. I was in the back kind of paddling and pushing him around. And when he caught a fish, we'd switch around and I'd hop up front and I'd start throwing. And it's a really cool operation. My biggest thought behind getting this skiff was that I wanted to do new things and also put a new twist on the old things that we've been doing. Can you imagine how bad ass it is going to be catching a 40 inch snook out of this thing off a seawall or having a 45 pound jack crush a huge mullet right next to the boat it's going to allow us to do all the things we we're doing before but it's going to add a new challenge to it and i'm not blind to that fact that it's going to be a challenge but that's what's got me pumped up about it is that it is going to be epic hooking tarpon hooking these big fish and trying to fight them in this little skiff and landing them is going to be unreal and on top of that, doing new things. I want to go to skinny water areas. I want to go fish for bonefish. I want to fish for permit. I want to go up to the Mosquito Lagoon and chase big giant monster redfish in four inches of water. All new stuff that I haven't really done because I haven't had a boat that can get in that real, real skinny stuff. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. And this thing's gonna allow us to do it. And I think it's gonna be a really, really cool addition to the channel while we think over and find what's the next big boat gonna be for us. All right, I know some of you guys are gonna probably have mixed opinions on this. I feel like it's gonna be pretty split that some people are like, now this is cool because this is something I can relate to because this thing doesn't cost as much as a real true boat does, but allows you to do the same things that you would be doing in a boat. It just kinda is a little more difficult, but I think that's what makes it cool. And I've gotten to a point in my, my life where I'm kind of done shying away from hard work and being lazy is that some weird sadistic part of me enjoys when things are more difficult. And I know this is gonna be part of it, but it's also gonna allow us to do things that we never could before. So I want you to leave your guys' opinions down below in the comments and let me know, well, I think this is a cool idea, but I think you're gonna struggle with this. Or this is awesome and I can't wait to see you go try to do this. There'd be suggestions where it's like, oh, you got this type of thing now, this type of skiff now, you gotta go take it and fish this area. Leave those comments below. I wanna know what you guys think about this thing. Funny story. So there's been a lot of people lately commenting on some of my videos being like, hey, you should collab with this guy named Thresher Fishing. And I'd actually never really heard of him. I think I've seen one or two of his videos, but I've never really watched much of it. And I order this thing online. Like I found it online because I was looking at little micro skiffs and I found it, I'm like, this is what I'm getting. And so I buy it and order it. And I'm like, I'm gonna just look up and see if there's more reviews or anyone else using this thing. And then I find his channel and I think he most recently got one too. And <laughs> so really funny coincidence. So yeah, I basically copied him on accident. So big shout out to him. I am really excited about this 
new chapter of our channel and it's just going to be a really cool addition and i think it's going to put a really unique twist on everything that we're going to be doing and like i said it's not going to stop us from doing the things that we're doing before once it starts warming up we're going to be fishing for big giant snook along the seawalls pitching mullet and throwing giant topwaters catching freaking giant submarines chasing after tarpon all this thing is going to do is allow us to travel further and travel into places that aren't getting fished and i think that's going to be really cool that's about all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the new boat review, the boat tour. Leave some comments below and tell me, one, your thoughts on this thing, and two, what should we name this bad boy? Do we need to christen it with a name? Not necessarily naming it, but I don't even know what to refer it as because, like I said, it's not a boat, it's not a paddleboard, it's kind of a skiff, I guess. I don't know what to call it. So help me come up with a name. Leave your comments below about what you think about this vehicle and what we need to be doing with it. I appreciate you guys very much. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. We are closing in on 100,000 subscribers, and that is kind of cool. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys. Until the next video, peace.